go. Crash and flow. I don't, I don't, I personally speaking, I don't like hearing, I don't like hearing from Muslim people that they, it's because they're hangry. Mm. I don't like it. I understand <laughs> that might be your reaction and that's who you are and you have a hard time dealing with it. And mm. that's your fight to fight. Right. That's cool. You know, you're self-aware maybe and you realize that you, you're hangry. Mm-hmm. I don't like hearing it. Mm. I don't like hearing it from someone who fasts 30 days. I understand there's a difference in, in like, in, in like faith. You know, in Ramadan, you feel a little bit high on faith. Right. That's the reason why you even make it. Because yeah. really, it's kind of like a miracle that you do 30 days, no water. You just do yeah. it. Right? You don't... I wouldn't do it for my wife. No, exactly. We wouldn't do it for <laughs> anyone else, right? And we do it, but like, I don't like hearing, like, oh, I'm just hungry. I'm like, you're a Muslim. You've been yeah. fasting since you were eight years old. Buck up, buck up. I have such little force fields in Ramadan. I'm like, hangry is an understand. I'm in avatar mode of if you bother me, I will tell you how much I'm fasting. <laughs> fasting so much right now. Dude, some of those do yeah. the last few days. Dude, dude. Inshallah, when we get to a place of good financial levels, mm-hmm. what I would like to do yeah. during Ramadan when it goes back to the, the, to the hot months. Move? Oh, no, you were saying move. <laughs> oh, no. that's, that's good. That's good. But what if we need to be here? I was thinking liquid IV. What do you mean? Like right? No, well, before, obviously all IVs are, are liquid, but like yeah, uh, yeah. Hyd- hydration via IV. I got you. So like up for iftar and suhoor? Yeah. So you do your iftar mm-hmm. you don't, and you drink a little bit of water. It's fine. Yeah. Then just before, like one hour before you go for tarawih, it's actually not even one hour. You only get like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you have someone over, they, they put you in, in an IV. It's probably the right idea. And then, uh, and then you just head out for tarawih. You get it done. Yeah, I think and so. And then you're good. You, you've, you've put a solid leader mm-hmm. directly into the system. Yeah. Or you just move, right? You just have a house where you could do that yeah that you could do that it's probably better one month off right with your friends We're like did you hear dave Chappelle does this maybe you oh, you haven't heard the story no so dave Chappelle, when he when they're going hard on the weekend that the, like oh, they, right, they right. perform like thursday thought, friday saturday he he's moving for ramadan i was uh, like maybe <laughs> <laughs> i'm like yeah look what i mean you have heard that one yeah that makes yeah sense. yeah yeah yeah. he man. has he has a it comes into the green room <laughs> when you've been a millionaire for a while i don't know what these people i was talking to my sister about so i'm like what do you like what do people who are well off do with their money yeah if not on their health yeah you know, and like yeah, that's true. Why, why would you not spend it? Well, some people actively ruin their health when they're millionaires. They have no idea. You know what? I think some people are still in it, trying to figure out what this is all about. Right, and yeah. I think for them, it's about like that 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 stuff you do. Yeah. And some people are like, nope, just trying to be rich as long as possible. Yeah. That's what other people are trying to do. Just trying to be here. That was that rich dude. Wealthy. Number one, first. Okay, what's Me. the first? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, what's the first luxury you want to do? I think it would be to have like a chef or mine a... as well. Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. The first thing, chef, chef. food, food. Yeah. And I want him to take care of also my supplementation. Oh, mine's a like... Filipino lady. Yours little guy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, th- I feel like I want a black guy. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Because here's the deal. I want a sure. fit dude, you know, right. like he got to look like he makes healthy food. Right, you can't. Right, right, because it beats the purpose. <laughs> if you get like a fat dude, if you get a fat dude, you know you're gonna get good food, but yeah. it's not gonna be healthy food. Oh, I got. You. I want somebody who's already cooked for seventeen or eighteen of their kids already. <laughs> They're like, I've been cooking. I'm a grandmother of. Yeah, but it doesn't. That doesn't guarantee healthy food, dude. She might. That be, just ha- guarantees good. I think food. she might. You know. Right. So now, <laughs> fit, 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 black dude. Okay. That's what I want. All right. Right, because then you're gonna get like spices and stuff that's that's congruent to our our taste buds. Okay. But also super healthy. Okay. Right? I think we get a good balance. Yeah. I That's would go with uh, food first, uh, probably a trainer, secondary, and then it'd be like blood works and yeah, like, yeah. MRIs. Just no blood works and just getting things no, leveled just get a, out. You know? A yearly MRI. A yearly for what? Dude, that, rich stuff? people do that all the time. Yeah. Just finding Full things? body MRI. Yeah, that's probably Every true. year. Just for imaging, because if if they find something that's this small, mm. you go in, you laser it, you're good to go, you walk away. Mm. And so a lot of people have been doing it because in in America it's just you know you book an appointment, you yeah. pay eight hundred bucks, and away you go. Yeah. Okay. So MRI. You yeah. Definitely get MRI. MRI. You got to be like Elysium. 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 Stem cells. Stem cells everywhere. Oh, dude, stem cells. Stem all cells all over in the place. my stem cells. Yeah. <laughs> Just, that would be so great, dude. Yeah. I also would spend a ridiculous amount of money on on cars. Speaking of cars, sure. Went to the track. In uh, Cayuga. Whoa. Cayuga. Japan. Uh, uh, racetrack. It was pretty cool. Uh, I was there. I tracked a car. 
a car. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, fantastic, dude. Uh, What's that mean, bro? What you tracked a car? What does that mean? Oh, you it took a car onto the track. Okay, cool. I didn't know if everybody knew that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know what? I thought this was my first time on a track. Obviously, you know, you do go karts and things like that. Yeah. Um, but it's quite different, obviously, to drive an actual car. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't think that I would be that good just because really? I don't do sim racing. Yep. I felt like a lot of times, because there's people who have actually transitioned from sim racing to real life racing. What's sim racing? Okay, okay. <laughs> <You're>, so, yeah. <laughs> so sim racing. You're talking about this like we're a car podcast and we always <laughs> talk about this stuff. I'm like, I don't know what half the shit. No, no, I appreciate, I appreciate <laughs> your asking questions. All right. So sim racing is yeah. essentially just simulated racing, right. right? But normally the people who do sim racing you know, in their house, connected to their computer. They're playing like, you know, Gran Turismo is one of them, but I think there's also more advanced sim racer programs. Mm -hmm. um, and you have a steering wheel that's attached to a frame. Mm -hmm. And normally it's a car seat, full frame, pedals. You get your gas, your clutch, and you're, you're, you're braking your clutch. And they even have like gear shift now. So mm -hmm. you can drive a fully automatic car. I mean, a fully manual car, um, exactly the way how the sims want, uh, like uh, that, that you would do in real life. Um, and the physics are so accurate that it's transferable there's been dudes who done drifting just in sim and they put them in a drift car mm. and they can drift the car very well um and because it, it turns out seat time in a sim now is very close to seat time in an actual race car wow so uh for me i don't sim ra i don't i don't do any sim racing mm -hmm. and i thought that as a result there would be a gap in my ability to drive mm. the car faster on the track but uh no I, I was pretty good could be you're like a super uh nerd about this shit and love every part of it yeah i think and it's so in your i just absorbed shit. a lot of things yeah and... i'm sure if you actually did it a lot you'd be very good at it yeah. it's something that uh probably have to turn off not doing you yeah know? so yeah. yeah racing things with machines yeah bro i think you'd be fine i think you could get very obsessive with this it's so fun yeah but the prohibitive nature of it is 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 the the amount of money spent on it like burnt tires uh, you're going to need a oil change right after because you, you've stressed the car a fair bit. Wow. Um, you know, and you put some wear and tear on your car, tracking your car the way how you track the car, right? Because yeah. it's not all race components inside of a, a car. Sometimes right. it's, you know, sometimes it's just a regular car that you're racing. Speaking of, yeah. dude, you can track whatever you want. There's you no, imagine? there's no, there's no judgment over there. There was a dude, there was a dude tracking a Prius. Yeah. Somebody uh, with them in a Prius. wagon. It's a station wagon. Uh, no wagons. There will be an SUV next time around. That's hilarious. Yeah, a I BMW a, X5 diesel. I want something that seats seven. I want something I'm that looks sure like a soccer mom's. I'm pretty sure the X5 seats seven. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be on the track. Uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a Prius there. A Prius PT was doing cruiser. some great time. I want a PT Cruiser <sighs> and a Beetle. Dude, there was... Uh, also, the thing is, what's also interesting there as a car guy is... Uh, you see a car go by mm. and you're like, that's a Miata because it looks, it is a Miata. Mm -hmm. And as it goes by and you hear the engine, you're mm -hmm. like, that is not a Miata engine. No, <laughs> that, awesome. that, it sounded like a Mustang went by in a Miata. Yep. And, uh, Bro, yeah, even cars shoving... are identifying as other cars. Yeah, they really are these Bro. days. You know, uh, I question the morality. Anyway, um, so the, uh, so that's fun too because there's surprises everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's a Saturn and you could hear the supercharger, which is a high pitch whine. Mm -hmm. Car moves. Mm -hmm. And, and it's like, a, I don't know, a 20-year-old Saturn. <laughs> wow. You know what? That's a name you don't hear anymore, Saturn. They yeah, don't come they they I think they were just, they, 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 they stopped making them in the 2000s. I mean, like in the early yeah. 2000s, I think. That was totally a the thing. The dentless cars. Yeah. That was their big thing, that their doors don't dent. You know, I wonder when like you sit around a bunch of people are like, what is going to be our thing? Like our doors don't dent. Right. Volvo can have their safety rating. Fuck them. Our doors don't dent. Yeah. I I really like car guys, dude. Car I really guys, like car guys. It's a yeah. thing. Hopefully you guys, you know, have a few more generations, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I'm going to just... make this a family thing. Yeah. I'm trying to get the... Because the thing is, is that a lot of these dudes bring their whole family, their van, yep. picnic, barbecue, the whole nine yards. It's a mm -hmm. whole thing. Mm -hmm. You come, you come out during like the whole day to spend some time out there. Yeah. So I'm going to see if my, uh, if my wife wants to go. <laughs> i think she might yeah i think so why not she's a nice person yeah <laughs> She'll be i don't like, know if fine. she would be wanted to drive a car around the track it is uh it's the first couple uh laps i went uh because it was someone else that drove the car yeah. for a bit just so that i can get the the layout of the of the track mm. um it's stressful being a passenger oh yeah I'm sure. yeah my my mouth 
dried up by cotton wow. immediately because you just constantly think you're going to die at every turn. Yeah. For the for especially the first lap, the second one you you kind of calm down you a little might, bit, and right. the third one you kind of get. But like the first two, you're like, we're dying. Oh my god. We we like. We, what if, like, if the steering yeah. wheel just turns a little bit, we're going right into the wall. And you don't know how this person in, is in a track situation. You know, no. you trust him to go from here to the mall. But when we're going as fast as we can, like, do you know what you're doing? Yeah. Well, With luckily the, for him, he's been doing it for 10 years. But still, pedals, no amount of... Uh, and the wing? No amount of, like, trust for the first couple of laps. The drift. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun. It was fun. It was it was good to it was good to go there. And that's another... It's another side of... of um, car culture that i've never been a part of so it's fun it's fun it's fun to be there we should hit up the the electric go-kart on dixie too dude k1 indoor dude we should do that and then uh i'll come watch you do this because i have no interest in yeah, 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 driving yeah, 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 yeah. fast yeah trying to live it, here as long as possible if i don't get the value of the happiness of you like that yeah, for sure. any of that yeah. like what am i doing no you I'm need just... you need to you need to be you need to be very close to the dosage of dopamine. If yeah. it's not, then what's the point? Then I need to be with an expert, like somebody who has, you know, a couple of logos on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, all right, you drive me. We'll watch. Dude, I saw a few spin outs. Ooh. And, in the, and it's every spin out in the distance, you can see like the dirt gets thrown up in the air. So it's like a little eruption in, in, the, mm -hmm. in the distance. It's cool. People, I was also, sorry, go ahead. Do people mess up their cars? I'm assuming they do. Uh, not while I was there, because what ends up happening is they there's a marshal that a lot that tells you when to go in and out. This yeah. is like a track marshal. That's what they call them. And so they kind of let you enter the track like in gaps, yeah, so that you're not really close to anyone. Okay. So even if you're a pretty slow driver, it's you wouldn't. There's not that many cars that's going to go get past you. Okay. So it, it reduces the amount of interactions you'll have with another car. Yeah, like so that wall is there probably. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And there was a few people that spun out. A couple of our, of my friends spun out as well. Dude, that's but fantastic. You spin out in places where you normally push a little bit more, but mm -hmm. you pushed a little bit more because there's no walls near you. Right. So you just slide into the grass. Fun right? times, man. You're not trying to. You're not trying to push close to a wall. It's good to know, like you know, people are still tracking cars and stuff like that. Seems like a, such an old timey thing, right? <laughs> Yo, all right. So get this. Yeah. Even older timey than than tracking. Yeah. Next door, like uh, is a horse. Same... <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, it's just like dancing horses. No, uh, I meant racing. Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> have you seen the the guys who dance with their horses? F furries. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Um, but like the the drag strip next door, yeah. or not next door, but in the same like area. Yeah. That has full bleachers. Wow. Because drag strips used to be, I think it's still a thing, but I just don't get the the fun of just pressing accelerator and then shifting through your gears to go in a straight line for a quarter mile. Yeah. But there's been uh, dude showed up, dude. There's there's even motorcycles that are doing like sub nine seconds quarter mile, which is Whoa. tremendously fast. It's like a sub rocket. nine seconds. The motorcycle stuff is... <laughs> it's like screaming rockets. And I don't even know what you're doing, right? I don't know what that person's job is other than, let me get this straight. This, right? Well, no, you also clutching. You, you also clutch. Like, they're, they're manual cars. I mean, they're okay. manual setups. So they, you know, clutch How in, important change, is the, the driver? Stuff like that. Yeah, really important. Say, really yeah, important. Not really as important. important as actual driving, though. Let's say again? Not as act, not as important as actual driving, having to manage a whole race. Oh, I think dragging a oh, drag yeah, yeah. car is probably just a whole different. It's it's, it's a lot less. Yeah. Your your skill and timing is all around the your ability to efficiently and quickly change your gears. And that's, everything. And that's everything. And that's everything. And then there's a lot of people who are track. There was there was Teslas there. Right. So there's nothing. All you do is press the accelerator. That's and so you fun. hold the steering wheel. Yeah. And it, Actually, it's a Tesla, so you don't actually you don't even have to hold the steering wheel either. I wonder. Okay, you could that's just what I would stop the accelerator, and it would just go straight. Put into track mode. It's like, hey, drive me Tesla, yeah. and it's like, okay, Michael. Night Rider. Yeah, no, I I know okay. I know what you're going for. <laughs> well, I'm trying to I'm trying to find uh, you. You never watched a show called uh, what's it called? Airwolf. Uh, no. Team Turbo? No, 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 no. A Team? Um, Herbie? <laughs> Yellowstone. Captain Commando? <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't see Yellowstone. <laughs> Just trying to find it. Uh, is it with our friend, the white dude who was uh, the in the football show as well? Friday Night Lights? 
Uh, no, I don't think he's in it. It's uh, Kevin Costner is in that mo- in that show. He's really Yellowstone. Good. Yeah. Oh, he's the main guy. Um, I don't know how to call it. I'll I'll have to find it. But it's really interesting because straight up cowboy mm. on the thing, and he's essentially demoing the agility of a horse. Whoa. Um, and so how well it could like take off from standing still. It slows down. It like slides. It's like like literally these horses can power slide mm. when they stop, and then quickly change directions and stuff like that it's like an ag- maybe agility oh, let's see this if that works I've, n- I've never searched this before but i definitely want to you know those people that dance with the horses that's some weird shit dude why are you making a horse dance it's uh down. yeah like w- when it's like lifting it's yeah like legs it's all and, stuff like that. and yeah. dancing and stuff i was yeah. like guys come on yeah that's true yeah no, this i know what's wrong with america and you're making horses dance <laughs> damn i really like yellowstone i, re- I wish um it was bigger Oh, yeah, I wish it was better. It was a really good show. There's so many good shows, though. It really is. Oh, I can tell you about one right now, bro. I'm uh, sure you can, dude. There's, you watch You watch them. Okay, hold on. I think I got something for you, at least. Ooh. <laughs> oh, they're going to mark it? Like, this is a comp... You got to start sliding here? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this is the wheeling horse, a horse. You think the horse cheats? <laughs> WD-40 says... <laughs> hooves? And they wrap his ankles and stuff so that he doesn't roll his ankle. Yeah, man. Dude. <laughs> Please wrap the horse's ankles. You know, for yeah, that's, that's rude. life or death for that horse. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's slide them. Uh, running and cutting. I think that's what it's called here. Let's see if this works. What is this? Mm, let me bring this up to here. Is it always in Mexico? Uh, like the south, uh, south. America has a lot of horse work. In, in, in the south of America, yeah. Man, making that horse dizzy. Man, this is like a promo. It's very yeah, romantic. <laughs> yeah, look at this feet, feet work. And is, these horses go for like 100K, 80K. I believe you, dude. They're trying to look stop and revert. Look, it's got all the... <laughs> all the gears. It's got all the gears. How many speeds does your horse have? That's a beautiful horse, though. Yeah, look at that. Good, good looking horse. But there you go. Yeah. This is a whole uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole sport. It's Dude, a whole this like, probably, breeding and everything else. If you think about our grandfather's, great-grandfather's this ancestors. Was this was Dude, it. this was their biggest thing was yeah. a good horse. Yeah. And yeah. now we're like, let's just looking at it like, wow, he's riding it. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, cool. Show, new show. Uh, it's called The Silo. The Silo. Yeah. What's it on? Um... I don't know. Nice. I don't know. The pirate. Uh, but definitely IPTV. Okay. Uh, so it's it's called the Silo, and it, humanity lives in a like seventy story si- Silo underneath love the it. ground. Right. I love that kind of stuff. There's only ten thousand people still alive. Right. And you do not utter the words, "I want to go outside," because if you say, "I want to," it's a capital punishment, where they will outf- outfit you in a suit. And send you outside. Whoa. I'm not ruining anything because this is literally the first three minutes of the show. Mm. Upon going outside, you can choose to either clean, which essentially wipes the dust off of the sensor that shows what what the world looks like outside, which is a barren hellscape, like desert space escape, because mm. we've ruined the the environment outside. Yeah. Or you can choose not to wipe and just walk off. And uh, that's it. That's kind of like the basis of the story. Yeah. And there are obviously humans that question why they exist the way they exist. There's other ones who say, hey, listen, we're in the silo. We're just trying to live our lives. Yeah, It's a really good show. Silo. It's a really good show. It's a like fun it. show to watch. It was, it was, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's well done. I, I, good sci-fi. Um, only 10 episodes, first season. It's based on a novel. Mm. And so far they were, they have adapted the novel accurately. I don't know mm. if it's going to go like Game of Thrones where they just shit the bed. But How old is the guy? He's like, yeah, he's, he's healthy. He's going to, he's going to oh, ride the mile. He's young. He's, young. He's, <laughs> he's much younger than, uh, whatever GR. Uh, yeah. I saw that guy. I'm like, it's not going to end well. He's, he's, look how old he is. <laughs> look how much overweight he is. Yeah. He's not going to, he's got uh, comorbidities. He's going to have to speed this up. It's going to end badly. Yeah, no, I mean, and he's not writing because he's always in freaking Comic Cons. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, and I think there's already three books that's already out right now i don't even know if the series is already done i'm i'm, I'm very much a noob in the thing but uh really rewarding dude it was such a such Silo. a fun show right, Silo, I yeah that. i love the concept those yeah. concepts are great yeah 
They do it well. And you know what? Here's the thing. Yeah. We remember Lost and remember the... the totally. I the, thought about that while you were talking. The the uh, the sheer disappointment. Lots of loose... loose. Like, here, where's the end of that story, dude? Right. Why'd you even start that story? Right, right, right. <laughs> In this particular case, yeah. it's already based on a novel. Mm -hmm. Novels, I think, is as, at least good for the next three seasons or the next two seasons. Um, and it doesn't seem like they've deviated at all in mm. the first one or very little deviation from the first one. So it looks like it's going to hold true and maybe they'll be able to, you know, deploy a, a, a good product over time. The silo. I can so. check this out. I'll, I'll look into it. I might have Apple just... TV. Okay. Man. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's just something. Ex... I, know, yeah, I know. I just got I know. it in my head. I know. Yeah, Apple TV. Yeah. <laughs> Apple TV is doing well. I think they have another show that was really good too. You've never scared anybody with those words as much as you did right now. Apple TV I was like, okay, <laughs> all right. I didn't. Oh man. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. That's that. I watched it so quick too. There's a place like that in Turkey, in Cappadocia, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. they just have a underground structure mm -hmm. that apparently thousands of people, like generations of people, yeah. lived in. Yeah. For like hundreds of people over multiple generations. Yeah. And then they got to leave later and then it was fine. Okay. They don't know why they were down there. Right. Can you imagine that was the whole thing? Bro, but that's scary though, right? Dude. That there was a, there was a set time in, 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 in the history of the earth where mm -hmm. humans were forced. I don't think any human chooses to live underground. So they were forced to be there. So yeah. humans were forced to build an entire civilization underground. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. No one else, like... That's the, that's evidence that it's there. Yeah. What's to say that the thing that made them live live underground doesn't happen to us as well? It, it's gonna happen to somebody. Yeah. And it could be us, or yeah. maybe not, but maybe it could. Yeah. Also, what I what I gotta I gotta ask, right? Yeah. What do humans? What is the? What will happen to humans if they can't get vitamin D? I think one, you start. Uh, Bone density goes down for sure. You can start eating other things. Like if you eat mushrooms, mushrooms absorb vitamin D from wherever the mushrooms might be connected to other mushrooms. So that vitamin D gets into you. Really? In mushrooms? Yeah. You're actually, what I do is I cut mushrooms and I put them by the window. They absorb vitamin D. So you can literally eat the vitamin D and it makes it more bio. What's the dosage? Do you know? No idea. But it's literally, I looked it up on Huberman, Rhonda Patrick, and one other nerd. And they all stated that, yeah, mushrooms. Did you get the nerd that wears a mushroom hat when he's doing interviews? That guy is, I think he he's too much. He's a mushroom head. Yeah. Like, he loves mushrooms. <laughs> so I don't, he, much. Yeah, he's not a partial of anything. So even if it's not rooted, like it's cut mushrooms, you just put it in the sun. Yeah, yeah, mm. it absorbs. What is this stuff, right? But anyways, amazing. yeah. amazing. But yeah, apparently, dude, people were, were born underground, lived underground. And, and I'm sure not everybody got to even go outside yeah, yeah, yeah. the way those things were built. It's crazy. Yeah. That's insane, dude. Where? What's it called? Hmm, I, I know it's have... Cappadocia, uh, in Turkey, underground town, <laughs> underground city, Turkey. Yeah. Uh, Darren Kuyu. Yeah, Darren Kuyu. That was it's called. Yeah. We went to some other ruins where I'm like. People lived in this cave. Bro. You're just walking around. Bro, okay. Extended to a depth of approximately 85 meters under the ground. That's 85 meters. Mm -hmm. Not feet. Dude, Large that's... enough to yeah. shelter 20,000 people. Yeah. Together with their livestock and food stores. They had... Livestock means that it's like goats and sheep, right? Goats and sheep. Okay. So they had that underground as well. Yeah. And they it had is... air vents. For every room, there was mm. moving air. They were built in a way that there was like an air column. So I wonder if the air wouldn't be toxic outside then, right? See, I feel like the reason somebody does something like that, maybe the earth st stops moving for a while. I don't know. Uh, maybe there was a solar flare. I think it has to do with everything being charred outside mm. i think but i have no idea i keep i it's fun thinking about it it's like mm. what made them go down mm. dragons you know they come out every Bro. six thousand something or other we we often go back to dragons and we often go back to shit what's that nice movie with that movie that we love godzilla no no no, no. <laughs> King uh, Kong. the one with uh christian i mean reign of fire yeah yeah that's the one that's a great dragon movie 
It might be the best dragon movie, in my opinion. Yeah. Tremors? No, not Tremors, the underground. See, Tremors, that's why Tremors doesn't work. I saw Tremors the day before yesterday, and I saw Serenity yesterday. Oh, okay, yeah, Firefly. yeah. Firefly. Yeah, stuff. Serenity. Serenity was great, too. Watch Ender's Game tonight. Dude, Ender's Game is great. That book was amazing. The book series is amazing. The movie was pretty damn good. There's a Muslim in there for no reason. Really? Yeah. Well, in the books? And in the, the movie. All right, good. And yes. When was Ender's Game written? Like 1920? <laughs> bro i'm reading dune and it has muslims so well the whole the whole thing is based on uh the prophet Muhammad, mm. uh bedouins of the desert yeah. uh spices spice <laughs> is uh, the spice which our is stuff the, <laughs> spices no no it's a psycho it's a psychoactive compound uh that people use for them to oh. uh they get high with and then it reverses aging or slows down aging um, it expands people's brains and their ability to do arithmetic and math. Uh, there's people who, because uh, AI has been completely, it's amazing, this book is written in the 60s. AI is banned completely okay. because eventually it got, it got to a place where it was going to be a threat to humanity. Right. So for computers, they have something called a minat. And it's someone who takes, I believe it's someone who takes spice, but are able to do high form calculations within their brain. Right. We all know that kind of pothead. Right. It's like, I drive better when I'm high. I'm like, stop it. Stop. And so each big house has their own menat that allows them to do the calculations that is required to run their, their society. Um, and then uh, also the spice is also uh, something that allows a society to uh, travel faster than light. Ooh. And so all of that stuff gets con is controlled uh, on, a, on, an, on, on a planet that... Um, the Arabs, quote unquote, the Fremen, hmm. um, control and have an understanding on uh, on spice in the same way that the Bedouins now have control of the oil or the largest oil supplies in, hmm. in the world. So there's many parallels to like religious texts that Dune bases itself on. It's tr tremendous, interesting. Yeah, it's super interesting. That is cool. They used to do that back in the days uh, in corporate because I was reading Moby Dick. Hmm. There's like a Muslim guy in there okay. for no reason. Yeah. In 1914, priest towards Mecca eats people. They didn't get it all right, but they got some <laughs> of it right. And uh, even in Ender's Game, there was like a, there was this student, and mm -hmm. he used to say salam. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I'm just sprinkling this. In. I wonder if there are people like you. They're like, you're just sprinkling these Muslims everywhere. I don't like it. They're trying to get to our kids, uh, Janet. I, I feel like there's an honest way to do it, <laughs> and then there's a dishonest way to do it. Where they're like, hey, hey. Hey, you know, I don't, I don't like that. But All if you right, do, it, do it, uh, do, do it, do it in a way that's no, not do it <laughs> quietly. Just do it in a way that makes that makes sense. Don't yeah. do it because you're trying to appease to an audience. I know. You know, no, you definitely. want to tell a story, you tell a story the way I, how you want to tell. Nobody's trying to appease to Muslims in 1914. Exactly. They're just like, exactly. I know one other culture. Is that okay if I write about that's it? It's pretty cool. Put it in there. I don't care. Dude, I'm good. At point, it was probably a myth. At one point, it's like I hear there's people that look different than us. Mm. Like, really? Are you sure? Can you imagine? They have all the oil and diamonds. Anything else happening? Hmm. That's about it. Uh, it's been busy, dude. Last year, I did so many barbecues. This year, I've only done like three. Summers hits different sometimes, every year, man. Sometimes, dude. Sometimes. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's true. Every every year, it's a little bit different. What are you doing uh, next week? Like, uh, actually, most of the days, I'm not doing anything. We can play pickleball. Yeah, I would like to play a little bit. I did see some videos of pickleball, and some people were taking their... Uh, there, like the scores really seriously or something, or I think one one guy hit the ball right at another person by accident, mm -hmm. and then there was like almost like a fight. But I can't take anyone who wants to fight in pickleball seriously. No, no. I think what happens is, uh, yeah, I guess it must happen in everything. I mean, yeah. you hit people in every sport. In tennis, you accident, you don't, you you're trying to hit add them so they miss it. Mm -hmm. But if it hits them, you do this. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But sometimes people don't say sorry. It's a problem. That's it. It's over. It's not. It's like you said something about their mom or something. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. thing in baseball. If you don't shake somebody's hand or if you hit a home run and you don't, if you flip the bat or like look at it for too oh, long. Baseball's got too many rules. It's got a lot of rules. It's got, it's got so many rules of yeah. it, like their etiquette. Yeah. Yeah. And t in tennis and pickleball, I think once you hit someone, all you have to do is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can be like, yes, later on, you can be like, yeah, we got that point. And that's about it. No, pickleball is simple. But wouldn't it make sense that don't you try to hit the ball? Okay, either Constantly. you're trying to hit the ball as far away from the person as possible yeah. so that they can't reach it. Yeah. Or if you are forced to hit it in the same area based on positioning, yep. you try to hit it to them so they have to move their body out of the way yeah. to swing the racket at it. Multiple multiple times in a normal game, you will hit it at a hundred percent power at right at the person. Mm -hmm. 
and it's not rude at all because yeah. it's not like you're aiming for their head. That's going to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just aiming at their body. So they mess up on how to get it. Yeah. And, uh, because they got to they gotta shuffle out of the way so that the racket can swing in that yeah, spot. Yeah. So they ha- you forcing them to move. Can you react to something coming at you, you know, that quickly in 20 feet? Yeah. And some people can, and it's, yeah. But yeah, if it's not hits, you know, I've, I've hit people and you should apologize right, because right. it does sting. Like I've been hit. Yeah. And you don't want to lie. You just want to be like, oof, my bad. Yeah. And you're like, all right, cool. But like, especially if you're playing with a girl partner and they hit your girl. Yeah. And now, what? You hit their girl? You can't do <laughs> So you have to like, what I do is they hit my girl. You got to hit the dude. I will do a drop shot. The yeah. dude comes up and then I will wind up like a crazy person and lob it over them. And that wind up will always cause them to almost just duck down. Yeah, because they think it's coming. Because they don't even know me, they right? They think it's rep- ret- retribution. Yes, they're, they're just uh, stereotyping me already. It's like, he's a hothead. <laughs> Look at his stubble, you know? He's a hothead. Go home to your mother's. Yeah, I know. But uh, fun times. Pickleball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let me ask you this, brother. What's up? Uh, do you know the sound that a shoe bill makes? Is it like this? Yeah, it's like yeah, a machine gun. I looked it up. It's pretty. Also, the eyes, it, it, it keeps on you while doing it. Yeah. Dude. So this is to attract mate, but everything really? everything in the world. I, I thought mean, it was to make you shit your pants. Okay. <laughs> 50% of the noises animals make is for them, for, for, for mating purposes. Yeah. And the rest is like, you know, scared, hungry, Bro, upset. Same for men. <laughs> 50% for mating. The rest is just scared, hungry, upset. <laughs> Listen to this. Are you kidding me? All right, be subtle, homie. Are you ready to fuck? Wow, bro, that sounds like a like a true machine gun, dude. That's, Can that's we play like, that again? Yeah, I'll bring it back here. It's so funny because you hear other birds mating calls, and it's all like, like Hunger Games. Chip, 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 yeah, it's like doo wee wee. This thing's like, I want to bang. <laughs> bang, 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 Yeah. Shoe bill. Not a subtle creature. No, not at all. Not a romantic one. <laughs> like, shoe bill foreplay? It's like, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> shoe bill. Oh, man. All right, cool. That was good. Uh, what else do I have for you? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Crazy. It, w- What's he going to pick up? Catfish. Turtle. Wait, wait for it. His leg. <laughs> I just picked up his own leg. I'm trying to get him out. Cool. It's another person. Oh my gosh! I call bullshit. There's no need for him to pull him out, right? <laughs> Also, how are you going to pull somebody up by their legs? He's pulling hard. Maybe he is. His Maybe. muscles, like, look at his muscles. He's fully flexed. Man. That, that thing is moving. That, that thing that's, is alive. That's not no, dead. No, that's not dead. No, no. I wonder if he's just holding it down like an asshole. Damn. No, but look how hard he's pulling. This dude yeah, is yeah. strong. You know, he's strong. Nobody's doubting this guy's strength. Come on. <laughs> Dang. I don't know. The reactions seem really legit in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, no, I'm. It's it's a real fish and everything. I mean, you just had me too much with this guy. Where I feel like, is this guy's an actor? <laughs> what a what a what a misdirect, eh? Yeah. What a misdirect. At first, I was like, okay, what is it? Because don't they fish for? Is it bass or something where they can put their finger in, it grabs it, and they can grab the lip and then yeah. they just pull it out yeah. because they don't have teeth, so you can just do it with your hands. Yeah. Something I've seen that. That yeah. looks wicked, by the way. Yeah. I don't trust anybody's jaw muscles. I'm like, no. What if it has something? What if it's a mutant yeah. and it just happened to have teeth? It's a it's a it's Not a genetic anomaly. It. You get it. Now I don't have teeth now I don't have fingers anymore? Yeah, I'll go to the store. That makes no sense. It's also gnarly when you have something by the fucking gills <laughs> when you reach inside their cavity and grab them by their organ. I've got it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's pretty something. intense. Bro, some people are different, dude. It still reminds you know I still get visions of that dude biting a an octopus head. Damn. Yeah, it's that's on meat eater Kimmy Swimmy. She she just 
you know they just go when you do that you're also putting like the one eyeball in your mouth too you're putting something of it in your mouth to find that right spot yeah so this the the this <laughs> poor octopus yeah. gets yanked out yep right his eye he's looking at both things and then he just sees like yeah a, a mouth. mouth comes and it just grabs the side of his head yeah and then light the lights go out i think that's humane i think so too i'm not questioning the, the like whether or not it's humane or not it's I crazy just think it's a crazy oh, way it's to insane. go out it's, it's a crazy way to go out getting bitten to death yeah maybe that's how it should be i think that's the natural lions way. are like yeah. this is what we what's do what's so strange about this you guys are backwards <laughs> what do you want us to uh, shoot him from a distance <laughs> and then let him bleed out like a pussy like a z- z- <laughs> all right i think those those were the good ones that i right. had for you there i yeah. think it was good Nice, fun Friday podcast. Yeah, it's not man. Friday, but whatever. Friday. It feels Friday. It feels like Friday. If you're listening to this on a Friday, it feels yeah. about right. Yeah, it feels about right. Man. All right. Well, well, let's call it right there. And we'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Good night. Go. Crash and flow. Crash.